there was a Sasquatch around here, a Bigfoot. This would probably be the best wooded area for him. <laughs> so, from what I can tell, it's thick, forestry like over on the side. Up there, it looks like some bluffs, the sandstone, limestone type bluffs. I want to say that we'll get uh, pretty close to some of the bluffs where you can see down below. And since it is fall and the leaves are off the tree, it'll be a little easier to see it. Doesn't matter, dog bark. Not sure. Could be my bag making noises. Or some other critter in the woods, a bird. Said there a couple of dogs remember being on this trail. They freak me out when they come out. So I didn't know if they're mean. Turned out to be really nice. Hard to get rid of. In fact, I couldn't get rid of them. They just kind of vanished on their own. <laughs> Around this particular area, that's where uh, the dogs come out. So. Being alert. <laughs> like I said, they're not nice dogs, but I don't, I don't know what's what's what. So it's always good to be careful. <clears throat> this isn't really rugged, but it's a climb. I mean, it's still a pretty wide trail. A little bit of rock, a little rocky surface. Don't want to trip, I guess. But for the most part, it's uh, it's very easy to walk on. It's just you're climbing. And although I'm decent at climbing on foot, not so much big hills on a bicycle, <laughs> but still a little tiring. Especially with all these layers on. Oh, and there's a dog. Hello, doggy. You a good dog? Are you a good dog? Are you a good doggy? Hello. Hello, puppy. Hello. I remember you. I remember you. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello puppies. Hello. Oh, wow. I remember you. You're new though. Okay. Cool. Down here is bluffs and it's swamp. And you can see Shawnee out there. Heck yeah. That's what we're used to seeing on my hikes. Oh yeah, that's far down there. That would be a fall. <clears throat> Here's a much better view. With plenty of chicken noises in the background from the farm here. Which I'm assuming is probably the owner of the dogs. Wow, that's cool. Okay. It's either a leaf blower or a chainsaw. Cash River Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> so we are at the Wildcat Bluff access point. <clears throat> okay. So we're at the trailhead and one mile round trip lookout point. Pretty much half mile there, half mile back. <clears throat> so I just met a couple uh, elderly people, and uh, they found the signs out here, and they just didn't know it existed. So they come out and check it out. Thought that was cool. All right, look, everyone. 
There's me. Climbing up. You go up, you must be able to look down, right? We are approaching the observation. You can already see Shawnee in the background, of course. Big, big old Shawnee National Forest, which is really a very small designated forest compared to other forests in the U.S. But even though it's very small compared to them, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Big enough where there's a west side and an east side. And here we are. Cool. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better than when I saw it. When I saw it last, it was uh, most of that was it, it was dry. I mean the. It, it, like I said, it was a little bit of a drought that year, and uh, it wasn't as <clears throat> spectacular looking as uh, what we're seeing now. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Nice little whole system of the white turns and spirals. See all shining. 